And now weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, if you've been outside since this morning, you've probably noticed that mugginess starting to return. It's actually getting a little more oppressive out there with the way the wind flow is. That southerly breeze continues to pump that up. But I think we'll get a little break because we get a little more of a south to southwesterly component just higher upstairs in the atmosphere tomorrow. So we are expecting overall the humidity to go up into the weekend. But I think we may feel actually a little bit better tonight into early tomorrow morning. Here's that glance at satellite and radar. Not much to talk about. A couple of clouds, a couple of sprinkles out across northeastern Canada. Kansas, eastern Kansas, up into southeastern uh, Nebraska. But overall, we are dry and we're seeing plenty of sunshine. That's the story in the metro. Taking a peek outside your door, we have 87 degrees with that southerly wind at almost 10. The dew point at 70, so that's oppressive. We went from the 50s this morning to 70 in just about five ish hours. So it's definitely not feeling as nice as what it was earlier on. Camden, Rala, okay right now in the lower to middle 60s, but most of us are closing in on that 70 degree mark. It's a little better off to the north and west, but we've seen that humidity creep in, especially for areas south into central Arkansas, northwestern Arkansas over the morning thus far. And you can see what happens. I mentioned with us getting a touch of a break as we head through tonight into Friday morning. And you can see we're in that comfy category despite the heat on the rise tomorrow as we get more of that southwesterly breeze a little upstairs. But we start to see that roller coaster hill on the climb, uh, so to speak, or us on that roller coaster climbing the hill back into that oppressive category Sunday, Monday, and then it looks like another cold front is going to try to move our way Tuesday into Wednesday, and I think that will drop our humidity values just a bit. So it looks like we're going to be feeling a little bit rougher over the weekend, and that's going to coincide actually with some rain chances. So it's kind of a glass half full scenario for us. We have 88 degrees in Camden, 87 in Mountain Grove, 90 now. In Ava, we're just about there in Branson Harrison and Mountain Home. It is 91 in Joplin. You can see it's also warming up down I-44 just a bit in northeastern Oklahoma. I'm thinking we're going to get back into the middle 90s today for most of us. Upper 90s, I think the farther west you trek. Plenty of sunshine to go around. Really not going to see too much cloud cover that continues tonight. We're back into the 60s and 70s under a starry sky, a little bit warmer than this morning. But we're tracking the rain. That's really our big headline over the weekend. So let's time it out. Here's future cast. As we head through dinner time Saturday, we're dry. Here's 1030. The cold front's moving in, and we're seeing some of that shower activity sliding into the Ozarks. And as it moves our way, we'll see more widespread showers and a few storms, I'm thinking. Not much instability, but waking up Sunday morning, we're definitely expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms. And this moisture continues to work down to the south and east as we progress through our Sunday evening and into the overnight. Here's 11 o'clock, still dealing with some of those uh, hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. In terms of the rainfall, definitely looks a lot heavier off to our north and east, places like St. Louis, but we all badly need it here across the viewing area. Sadly, the farther south and west you live, it looks drier and drier, but I still think we could see maybe close to a half of an inch around the metro with lighter amounts down to the south and west. Something we'll be watching, but still not extremely meaningful rainfall, which we so badly need. Our certified most accurate 70 forecast shows our temperatures warming up close to 100 degrees into our Saturday. They take the dip into our Sunday middle 80s on Sunday with the clouds, the moisture. We're expecting temperatures to get back up into the 90s by Monday, and we continue on with that warming trend as we uh, go through Tuesday. And I think as we head into Wednesday, Jesse, that's when we'll start to get a little bit of relief from that humidity. All right. Well, that much needed rain going to be coming our way Saturday and Sunday. A little drink for, for, yeah. the, for the foliage yeah. out there. Yeah. Nature. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little foliage. That's right. <laughs> and speaking of